everyone. We are going to wait just one or two more minutes. Um, it's not quite 3 p.m. Eastern yet. So we're just going to wait um, another minute while people are joining. Hi everyone, um, welcome to the Saving Pets Challenge webinar. It looks like we still have some people joining. Um, so I'm just gonna wait like one more minute before we get started into everything. In the meantime, um, if you could type into the Q&A uh, bubble, um, if you will, the Q&A section of your uh, Zoom panel and let me know that you can hear me, that would be awesome. Perfect, thank you all so much. We are gonna go ahead and get started. Um, again, welcome. We're so excited to have everyone here. Uh, this is the first Saving Pets training uh, webinar for the Saving Pets Challenge um, for 2021. My name is Dawn and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Uh, I have a few housekeeping items to note before we jump into uh, the content for today. First, the webinar will be recorded and posted in the toolkit on the Saving Pets Challenge site under the Resources tab. And then you can use the Zoom Q&A module to send across any questions that you may have during the presentation, and I will get to as many as I can after the webinar. Um, if we do have a lot of questions that come in uh, during the webinar and I'm not able to get to them all, um, I will have your uh, information on file. So uh, I will, you know, email you personally after the webinar is over to make sure that all your questions are answered. Um, for a little background, since uh, I believe many of you are new to Mighty Cause, uh, Mighty Cause is a fully functional nonprofit fundraising suite that organizations use 365 days a year to raise money for their causes. Uh, we've been around since 2006, and we power many local, regional, and national giving events. And we are really, really excited to be the platform for this year's Saving Pets Challenge. So here's a look at today's agenda. Uh, we're gonna be going over some of the basics. Uh, we're gonna go over some of the key dates and facts of the program. Uh, and then we'll walk through getting started on Mighty Cause by navigating and customizing your organization's profile on the platform. And then after that, we'll go over the prizes available for this year's challenge. Um, again, we'll do a Q&A session at the end of the presentation, so if you have a question while I'm presenting, just type it into the Q&A box uh, on your Zoom panel, and uh, we'll make time for it at the end. Okay, challenge basics. So since many of you are new, I do want to briefly go over what a challenge is and what your nonprofit needs to do to participate uh, before we jump into the specifics for the Saving Pets Challenge. A fundraising challenge is a unique campaign presented by a host, uh, in this case, Michelson Found Animals, 
that allows organizations to compete with other nonprofits um, or against their own goal uh, to win prize money. Fundraising challenges are a really exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and, and more volunteers, et cetera, to spread the word about your organization, your mission, and raise funds for your cause. Uh, the limited time frame that the challenge presents creates a sense of urgency that donors tend to respond to, and the prizes available give you fresh messaging opportunities throughout the campaign. So what does my nonprofit need to do? Uh, to participate in the Saving Pets Challenge, you'll want to register your organization if you haven't already done so. Once you're registered, you can customize your profile on Mighty Cause and start planning for your campaign by reviewing the resources available in the Challenge Toolkit, as well as reading through the official rules. Uh, you can invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers. And once the challenge has started on September 1st, you can start promoting your campaign and asking for donations. Basically, you need to raise money to win some of the awesome prizes available. So the 2021 Saving Pets Challenge is a four week long fundraising campaign that runs from September 1st at noon Eastern to September 30th at 1159 59 a.m. Eastern. Uh, the challenge is open to US based organizations with operating budgets between $25,000 and $10 million. Uh, eligible organizations uh, have to have missions centered around the welfare of dogs, cats, birds, and or rabbits. Uh, the really awesome thing about the Saving Pets Challenge is that there's going to be $150,000 worth of prize money at stake, and there's lots of opportunities to win. So I'll get into the prizes available a little bit later on, but I'm really excited about that part of it. So. This is the homepage for the Saving Pets Challenge. You'll see the URL there at the top. I would definitely bookmark it. Once the challenge starts, this is where you'll, you'll have to go to see the grand prize leaderboards that will indicate what place you're in, as well as any additional bonuses that are going on. So again, make sure to bookmark it now so that you have it when you need it. This homepage has all the tools that you'll need as well. You'll see the register button uh, there at the top. Um, if you haven't registered yet, this is where you can go to do so. Uh, the uh, giving event homepage also has uh, the tabs that you see right there um, that include the rules and resources like the FAQ and toolkit and lots of other information. Uh, this is also where you can go to find information about what prizes are available as well. So first things first, if you haven't already done so yet, you're going to need to register your organization for the Saving Pets Challenge. Just go to savingpetschallenge.org and fill out the registration form. Uh, you'll need to either log into Mighty Cause or sign up for an account on Mighty Cause to view that registration form. Uh, once you've completed the registration form online, you'll receive an email confirming that we've received it. And then once you've um, submitted the registration form, you'll also be able to add administrators to your organization's account on Mighty Cause, so multiple people will be able to access and help run the campaign. And then after submission, the team from Michelson Found Animals will review your responses. Um, usually within 24 to 48 hours, you'll receive an email confirming that you're approved and all set. Um, if you have any questions at all about this process, where you are in the process, please don't hesitate to email our support team at support at mightycause.com. Navigating your dashboard. So once you've filled out and submitted your registration form um, and have access to your organization account on Mighty Cause, the next step that you can take is to complete the items on your organization's to-do list. This list will be in the overview section on your nonprofit profile. Um, for any organizations that are new to Mighty Cause and haven't already checked off all the items. There's five basic items uh, for the Saving Pets Challenge that we suggest you complete. You should add uh, a background image to your page. Uh, you could use one from our gallery of stock background images if that's easier for you. Uh, you should upload your logo. That will represent you throughout the Saving Pets Challenge. You should add a story. Um, that is going to tell visitors to your profile about what your nonprofit organization does. Uh, you should also build the thank you page that donors will see once their donation transaction is completed, and you should sign up for direct deposit. 
So if you click the link in your to-do list, um, you'll be taken right to the spot on your organization profile where you can complete that task. Uh, so it's, it's pretty easy to complete the list. Um, if you do need help or you're unsure how to complete any of the items, then again, you can email our support team at support at mightycause.com um, or check out our support library. We have lots of walkthroughs and videos that can help you out as well. Um, the next thing I recommend is taking some time to get to know your organization dashboard. So your dashboard is the admin section that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in and you're on your nonprofit's profile. So when you log in, you'll automatically land in your overview section, which again is where you'll find that to-do list. Um, and you'll also see metrics there for your, for your nonprofit. Um, once you start using the site more um, and becoming a little more familiar with it, the metrics will really come in handy. You can customize those. Uh, it's, it's pretty neat um, once you're you know, in it and, and looking at it. Um, beneath the overview section is the organization page. Uh, that's where you can customize your public facing page by uh, toggling on edit mode. Um, and you can include paid metrics on your public facing profile, like adding a goal uh, for the Saving Pets Challenge, um, which will enable a progress bar on your page. Uh, below that, um, on your dashboard within the um, fundraising section, you'll be able to manage any fundraising pages connected to your account uh, or you know, any other efforts for your organization. Uh, that's where you'll be able to find our matching grants tool, which I'm gonna touch on a little bit later. Uh, and then below that section on the dashboard is the reports section, uh, where you're gonna be able to preview and export different donation reports. And then the last uh, section within your dashboard uh, is the checkout section, uh, which we're gonna talk about in a few slides. Uh, this section allows you to customize your organization's donation checkout flow, uh, like your um, donation form and your thank you page. Uh, and then the, the very last section uh, is the settings where you can manage your nonprofit's um, URL customization. And uh, that's where you can go to add uh, admins to your account as well. So jumping into your overall profile for the Saving Pets Challenge, your profile is gonna be the face of your nonprofit for the challenge. So you'll wanna make sure that it looks good and it represents you well. Um, just so you know, uh, your profile link is the link that you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your challenge page. So to share your page, just copy and paste the URL into an email or social post or wherever you're advertising the campaign. So as you're going through your to-do list, you'll wanna customize your profile to match your brand. Um, you can change your theme color to match your logo, upload media to your gallery to add some like visual interest on your page. And your story or your description uh, on your profile page is really the centerpiece of your page. So in your story, you know, you can put your mission statement, you can add photos and a video, and uh, you can upload uh, those videos to YouTube or Vimeo, and they'll get embedded right within that story section so people can watch them right there on your page. Um, that story section is really where you can go in depth about your work and really make that strong appeal to donors, you know, tell them why your organization needs their support and show the impact of your work. So I, I highly recommend spending some time um, customizing your profile uh, because donors notice when you do or do not put you know, some effort into it. So the, the first thing you'll wanna do when editing that profile is upload your organization's logo. Uh, you can use the pencil icon to open that logo section up for editing. Uh, logos need to have a one-to-one -one aspect ratio to fit within that box. Uh, the logos on Mighty Cause are the same aspect ratio as many social media sites to kind of put it in perspective. So, you know, if you, if you use your logo that's a part of your Facebook or Twitter profiles, you can definitely use the same logo here as well. Uh, you'll want to make sure your logo doesn't clash with your background image. Uh, and then, of course, the next thing you'll want to do is upload a background image. So your background image will look best if it's mostly text free and it's a strong image that's representative of your nonprofit. Um, landscape oriented images work best. We do offer a generic gallery of images to choose from. Uh, so if you're a small organization and don't have, you know, just really a lot of pictures to choose from, um, you are more than welcome to use our uh, gallery of images to make sure that you have a, a nice professional looking background. Um, you can also change your theme color. 
uh, to match your organization's branding. So the theme color allows you to pick a consistent color that shows throughout the experience that your organization provides supporters. Um, you can see here the theme color, uh, the donate button changes to what the theme color is. If you have any hyperlinked uh, text within your page, that will change to your theme color. Uh, it's really easy to set. Um, there's a palette icon on the background image that will open up that uh, theme section for editing. So you can pick a color from the color box provided, or um, you can use a hex code to get the exact color that you want for your theme. So the about section of your page uh, is your chance to really explain what your nonprofit is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in that section. So all you have to do is click in that section and start writing. Um, you can add media to your story to kind of jazz things up. Uh, you can utilize the in text, inline text editor uh, to add links, upload images, uh, again, link to videos from YouTube and video. Um, you can also add bulleted or numbered lists. So this story spot is really, again, where you go in depth about your work and make a strong appeal to donors. Um, one really cool piece uh, of your profile is the ability to add custom tabs. So if you have extra info that you want to share, um, that doesn't necessarily make sense to put in your story, then you can create a custom tab to add that information um, to your nonprofit's profile. It, it, you know, it helps keep everything organized and easy to find and lays it out in a nice, um, easy to read format. Um, you can add anything that you'd like to your custom tab. Um, you know, information about upcoming events, frequently asked questions, information about your staff, uh, uh, animals available, uh, frequently asked questions, et cetera. Uh, you can create up to three custom tabs that you can label um, however you'd like and fill in whatever content makes your profile page just look that much more interesting. So the media gallery um, on your organization's profile is where you'll be able to add any additional images that you have uh, of your organization. It's a really great way to visually show donors what your organization does and where funds are going. Um, you can also connect your organization's Instagram, which imports the pictures that you already have on there. Um, and you can also connect your Facebook gallery as well. So connecting your two social media accounts not only provides you know, additional content, but it also lets people coming to your page know that you have those social accounts so that they can easily uh, follow or like you. Uh, you can optimize your social share settings within that settings section on your dashboard. Um, basically what that means is that um, uh, you can standardize that social template uh, whenever someone shares your campaign. So, you know, set a, the standard logo, um, a little blurb, even some hashtags that populate um, automatically whenever a supporter uh, uh, clicks that share icon and spreads the word about uh, you and your campaign through their social media. So customizing your checkout flow. Um, the next item that you'll want to customize uh, on your organization profile is the checkout flow. So this is located within your checkout section on the dashboard. Uh, the checkout flow is what your donors experience when they make a donation to your organization. So the first part to customize is your checkout steps. Uh, this is probably one of the more important features to focus on when you're setting up your organization's profile page. The, the checkout flow section gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization on Mighty Cause during the Saving Pets Challenge. It allows you to opt into collecting the information that you want from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to those amounts to help you know, tie those numbers to items or services that your nonprofit provides, which really helps strengthen um, your appeal to donate. Uh, the checkout steps within your checkout flow uh, also allows you to preview the whole process, the whole checkout process without actually making a donation. So you can see what your final process looks like and use that to edit yourself if needed. So the post checkout section within your uh, checkout flow is where you'll go to set up your thank you page and customize your donation receipt. Uh, both of which use the same text editor as your story on your profile. So uh, you can add text um, on the uh, thank you page. You can add a uh, video and image, um, and you can also add a custom call to action button that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. 
Uh, so one idea for that would be, uh, for example, asking them to sign up for your email list uh, on that thank you page. Um, so for customizing your organi organization's donation receipt, um, this customization uh, allows you to um, um, add in custom text above the tax deductible donation uh, receipt that gets sent out automatically after a donor completes their donation on the site. So the receipt will automatically pull your logo that you up that you upload to your profile, and then you're able to customize that top text to just really make it personal um, for your donors giving to your campaign. So there's there's a lot you can do in that checkout uh, flow section uh, to optimize your campaign and and really brand that process for donors. So I highly recommend taking the time to set that up so your donors get that branded experience uh, while completing a gift for your organization. So you can access your challenge donation report in the report section of your dashboard. Um, clicking on that section will give you a sub menu where you can choose from various reports available to you. Uh, your donation report will be, will be available to you in real time and include information like uh, the donor name, uh, email, any designations or dedication options that you've set up, uh, the gross and net amount of their donation, as well as any fees associated with their donation. Um, you'll also know what page they donated to, as well as lots of other information. Um, the information that you set up to collect during the checkout flow will also show in your donation report. Uh, for example, uh, if you turned on the option to collect phone numbers uh, or addresses from donors when you set up your checkout flow, those answers will show in your donation report. Uh, the disbursements section of your report center allows you to see your batch disbursement history. So you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, like uh, which donations were included in that specific disbursement, as well as a summary of the total amount, total associated fees, um, total amount of fees donors covered, uh, net amount included in that disbursement. It's very comprehensive. Your finance team, I'm sure, I hope will love it. Um, but uh, just so everyone's aware, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, which is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for a direct deposit or electronic fund transfer, uh, which is the recommended method. Um, basically, it's recommended because it allows us to disperse funds uh, to you twice monthly. Uh, the foundation can also send disbursements via check too. Uh, those get sent out once a month, and there is a $5 administration, administrative fee associated with check disbursements, so it's highly recommended that you sign up for EFT since it's free and you get your money uh, more often. Matching grants. Uh, the fundraising tool section uh, in your dashboard is where you'll find the matching grants tool. Um, as I'm sure many of you know, having a matching grant uh, from a uh, large donor or corporate sponsor can go a long way in driving donations. So I want to make sure you're aware of the tool that Mighty Cost has specifically for matching grants. The matching grants um, set up with this tool is something that your organization secures and sets up on its own. Um, this tool allows you to display a matching grant that you've worked to secure on your organization profile page. So the matching grants tool is a really versatile tool that you have a lot of options uh, for how you structure your match. Um, most matches are are uh, one to one matches. So you know if someone gives ten dollars, ten dollars is matched, and your amount on the site goes up by twenty dollars. Uh, but with our matching grants tool, you can do one to one matching. You can also do two to one, three to one. Uh, you can match a percentage of each donation. Um, our tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match. Um, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations have been received. So for instance, uh, if there's a bonus available for the most uh, uh, unique donations, you could say that if you get 100 donations on this day um, or 100 donations within this week, uh, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your, for your nonprofit. Um, Really, however you want to set the ma matching grant up, it, it really helps drive donation volume and traffic. Um, the matching grant tool also allows you to post multiple grants at the same time um, and in sequence. So if you are fortunate enough to get um, uh, multiple sponsors for different matching grants, 
uh, then you can set up multiple matching grants to queue one after the other. So you're constantly having something exciting going on during a portion of the campaign. So this might sound like a lot, uh, but the tool itself is, is pretty user friendly uh, and you have a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. Um, I would highly suggest uh, checking out the matching grants tool just to see your possibilities, see what all is available, start brainstorming. Um, of course, if you get overwhelmed, um, you know, setting it up as a one-to-one -one match uh, is the simplest and easiest thing to do. Uh, we also have a comprehensive FAQ in our support forum um, uh, all about uh, setting up a matching grant, uh, securing a matching grant. Um, so I will make sure that that information is also in the Saving Pets Challenge Toolkit. Uh, that way you have uh, the information at your disposal on how to set that up, uh, best use cases for it. Um, and then of course, if you have any questions about uh, you know, the matching grants tool um, or how to go about doing that, um, you can always email our, our support team at support at mightycost.com. So the last section on your dashboard is the settings. Um, if you click settings, it opens a sub menu where you can update your organization settings like uh, customize your URL, manage your uh, electronic fund transfer. This is where you can go to um, sign up for EFT. Um, uh, you can update your legal information in this section. Uh, this is also where you can go to add or remove admins from your account. So moving on from the dashboard, uh, but before we jump into prizes, um, I wanna make sure that I mentioned the really great tools that you have access to. Uh, the nonprofit toolkit uh, for the Saving Pets Challenge has tips and tricks. It's got FAQs, it's got walkthroughs. Uh, it also has templates that you can use for email and social media um, to really help you get inspired and figure out how to promote your campaign. Uh, we have. We have lots of time before the challenge starts, so I highly recommend, you know, being proactive about it and checking out this toolkit, seeing what resources are available, um, and then seeing how, you know, your organization can best utilize those resources. Um, if, if, you know, you're looking at the toolkit and you're thinking, I could really use X, Y, and Z, let us know. You know, there's still plenty of time. Um, we have other resources at our disposal. We thought these would probably be most helpful for you, but if there's anything that you feel is missing or could be useful for you, then please don't hesitate to reach out, um, support at mightycause.com and let us know. Uh, and we will be more than happy to, you know, either create a resource um, to share with everyone or, uh, you know, share with you something that we already have that we didn't necessarily include in the toolkit. Um, the toolkit also uh, is where you'll be able to find today's training recording if you, you know, love it so much that you want to watch it again. Um, you'll also be able to find logos and graphics for the challenge that you can download to start, you know, tying your messaging into the challenge brand. So check it out, bookmark the toolkit, be sure to refer back to it as you're planning your campaign. It's a really useful resource, um, especially if you've never participated in the Saving Pets Challenge again. Um, it's a really good place to start to um, strategize around your campaign. Okay, so now we're going to move into talking about the really awesome prizes that the Saving Pets Challenge has to offer. So this year's Saving Pets Challenge features five grand prize winners. The organization that raises the most money online during the challenge time frame will win the $50,000 top prize. Um, the organization that raises the second highest amount online will win $25,000, third place wins $15,000, fourth wins $10,000, and the fifth highest raising organization will win $5,000. So as soon as the challenge begins, uh, participating organizations will start getting tracked by the dollars they've raised. And just as a quick note, only online donations made through the Saving Pets Challenge will count towards your leaderboard totals. Um, so this is a big reason why you want to push your donors to give online. Um, you can certainly record a check uh, or, you know, any cash that's given to you. Um, it just won't be reflected in your leaderboard totals. And the reason for that is because we don't and just cannot verify all of the offline donations um, that organizations might have come in. Um, the leaderboard will reflect your cumulative total from the time the challenge begins at noon Eastern on September 1st. So it's going to be a running total of everything you've raised online throughout the Saving Pets Challenge. Um, and, you know, this is where the leaderboards are where you're going to be engaging in that friendly competition for those top prizes. 
So there's lots of additional prizes as well. Um, there's going to be a specific bonus geared just for small organizations um, that runs through the whole campaign. Um, there's going to be a matching grant bonus available. There's going to be a ton of opportunities to win. Um, we've got lots of winners available for each of the bonuses available. Um, all of the prizes, method of entries, and dates associated them, with them um, are going to be listed on the challenge site at savingpetschallenge.org um, under the rules and prizes tab once all the details have been worked out. So we don't quite have everything worked out yet. Um, and so just stay tuned. Uh, I would just you know keep checking back every now and then uh, and checking that rules and prizes tab. The rules for the challenge itself are already posted there. So if you do need to review those, that's a good place to go. Um, but as soon as we have all the information and the rules associated with each bonus, we'll be posting all of that, all of that there as well. Um, most of the bonuses, will have live leaderboards as well. So you can see where you stand at any time during um, the bonus week or the bonus time frame if it is one of the um, month long bonuses. Uh, the key to winning those bonuses is you know, getting your donors invested and in helping you climb the leaderboard. Uh, so keep tabs on your position on, on the leaderboards that your organization is, is associated with and keep your donors and supporters updated on where you are. You know, Continually emphasize how much is at stake um, you know, how much could this extra prize money do for your for your charity? You know, what would it help you achieve? Tie that back into your overall messaging about, you know, what you do, why you do it to really get people excited about helping you win that money. Um, another trick, too, is, you know, concentrating on sustaining momentum. Use those bonus challenges to sustain momentum um, throughout the throughout the campaign. I'll keep that fundraising going and, you know, start and finish uh, strong. So as we wrap this up, um, I want to make sure that our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they are a really great resource before and during the challenge for anything, you know, campaign related. So if you need help um, setting up anything on your uh, organization profile, if you need help uh, signing up for EFT, uh, if you need some help figuring out how to, you know, strategize around the weekly bonuses, or, you know, if your donor just needs their receipt reset and you're not sure how to do that through your account, you can reach out to them uh, at any time. And then really quickly, I, I want to uh, plug the next webinar for the Saving Pets Challenge next week on Wednesday, June 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, the second webinar will also be live, and it will be all about strategy that you can use during the challenge to win some of those prizes uh, that are available. So you can sign up for that uh, webinar now, uh, put it on your calendar, and um, you can go to savingpetschallenge.org and sign up. Um, the sign up link is in the toolkit, uh, and um, you'll be able to uh, sign up and register for it right there in the toolkit. Okay, so let me see what questions that we have. Let's see. Okay, so first question, very good question. Will donations that come through, um, that come in through our CRM or you know, their own website um, uh, during this time frame count towards our challenge fundraising goal? Um, or do donations have to go through the Mighty Cost platform to count? That's a great question. The donations have to go through the Mighty Cost platform in order to count towards the challenge. Um, that's how we're able to tally everything up and keep everything um, sorted in a uh, easy to uh, understand way on our back end. So um, you're welcome to record things as offline donations if donations come in uh, through your own CRM. Um, but again, uh, any donations that are made outside of the, um, the, the platform uh, for the Saving Pets Challenge are not going to count towards leaderboard prizes. Um, let's see. Uh, next question, how soon can we start setting up once we're registered? Um, if you're new to the platform, there will be um, a short window where our support team approves your uh, admin request uh, that was completed within the registration process. Um, we want to make sure that you're a legitimate person uh, with the organization in order to access some of the sensitive uh, donor information um, with the account. So. 
Uh, as soon as you're approved uh, as an admin for your organization, then you can start getting set up uh, right away. So it typically takes about 24 hours or less uh, for our support team to, to review and approve you as an admin, you'll receive a notification email when that happens. And then once you're in, then you can start customizing um, and making the, uh, the profile associated with the challenge um, look as good as uh, you would like. Um, next question, what size organization is considered small? Great question, um, TBD. We are not sure yet um, what the breakdown will be. Uh, but that information will be posted in the FAQs, um, as well as listed in, in any of the rules associated um, with a bonus that splits into small or large. So that information is coming. Um, let's see if anyone, if you do have a question, then you can post it in the Q&A um, section on the Zoom panel. Um, but let me see if... Uh, anyone's posted it in the chat. Um, the, uh, I'm, I, I'm not sure, the, the next question, can the recording be emailed? I, I'm not sure if the recording will be emailed to you. I know you'll get um, a thank you for attending and I believe the recording will be linked up in there. Um, however, I will be posting the recording in the toolkit so you can definitely share the link to the toolkit with the recording to anyone that you want to watch the recording as well. Uh, and then next question that kind of answers the same thing. Um, how do I get a copy of this presentation to share with my volunteers? I'll be posting the recording in the toolkit uh, and then you can share that toolkit link uh, with your volunteers so they can watch um, the video. Um, and I love that people wanna watch it again. I feel so good about that. Thank you. Um, let's see, it doesn't look like there's any other questions coming in. Um, let me see if I, I don't think I missed any. Oh, uh, one other question. Um, I'm looking at the platform and don't see the option to add a third tab on the organization page. Where would I do that? Um, it should be on the profile. Let me look into that for you, uh, Catherine, and I will I will get back to you about that. Um, if anyone else has any questions about, you know, um, how you're able to customize your profile, or you know, if you're running into trouble, our support team is very friendly and um, just loves helping people out. So uh, please don't hesitate to call or email um, and, and let us know what uh, questions that you have and we will be more than happy to help. Um, yes, uh, so um, what size organization is considered small? Um, that is TBD, we're not sure yet. We're still waiting for registrations to come in. Um, I believe the goal is to do more of like a 50-50 split. Um, so we're gonna wait till cl um, closer to when registration ends, I believe, before determining the split. Um, once we do know uh, what organization, you know, what the, um, the split number is, then we'll be posting that in um, the FAQs and we may send out an email associated with it as well. And actually that reminds me, um, for those of you um, who are, um, you know, participating in the Saving Pets Challenge, we will be sending out regular communication emails, um, I believe starting in July. So please, please, please make sure that you um, whitelist the support at mightycause.com email address in your emails. Um, that way you can be sure to receive all of the communication associated with the Saving Pets Challenge. Um, if, you know, it's get, it's getting close to August and you haven't really seen anything, um, please let us know and uh, and we'll make sure that you're, uh, you know, we'll make sure that the emails are getting sent to you and we'll work with you to make sure that your, you know, your email service isn't blocking them or anything like that. Um, so we haven't, you know, really sent out much communication so far. Um, there was a couple emails about the webinar, but, um, uh, if, you know, just keep that in mind, make sure that you uh, mark support at mightycause.com as a safe sender in your email. That way you can make sure that you're getting all the communications about the challenge. Um, okay, I think that that's 
it. Um, if anyone has any additional questions um, that they think of after the webinar is over, um, please, you know, again, here, I'll put our, our, our support information. Please email support at mightycause.com. Um, we'll be happy, happy, happy to answer all your questions. We're really, really excited about the Saving Pets Challenge. We're really excited that um, you all are, are excited about it too. And, and, you know, we're super excited to, to kick it off. I think I said excited like three times. So you can tell my level of, uh, you know, uh, interest in it is, is high. Um, so again, any questions, support at mightycause.com. Really, really appreciate your guys' time today. Um, and I'll be posting uh, this recorded webinar in the toolkit um, probably uh, by tomorrow. So if you check back tomorrow, maybe in the afternoon, it should be there. Um, again, my name is Dawn. Um, I'm working with the, or, um, the Michelson Found Animals team uh, on, the, on the challenge. And we are so excited that you all are participating and can't wait, can't wait to get started. Uh, thanks again for your time, everyone. And I hope you have a great day.